Yeah, it's recording. Fixing something. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a collab with Jessie Ray. Yeah, myself. So make sure you go and subscribe to her channel if you're not subscribed to it because you don't want to miss out. Do it now. And today we're going to be talking about things that annoys us. So we picked a couple things that we're going to be discussing about and some things might actually slow into our heads. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So the first thing drift your attention to another woman in her company hey i don't quite get this question you don't i don't so it's like i'm with my boyfriend yes and he's paying attention to someone else he can be a friend he can actually be a girl that is a friend and simply he's talking to you and then out of the blue he's talking to this other friend and he kind of pretty much dismisses you but that friend is a girl so he still considers a that woman. is rude that's very annoying <laughs> Even though you may not have the intentions of actually like kind of ignore you or kind of not make you feel like you like not there at all, but just you just do, do it. it. Like don't men do, do that it. quite a lot. Don't do it because that is really rude. It is really and it would piss me off so much as well because if I'm there with you, I'm supposed to be your like your intention is to come all the way to me. <laughs> it's about me and you. You with me directing to me. <laughs> Nobody else. Exactly. Nobody else. Yeah, some men do that and that's men annoying. So if you were men and you do that, then stop it. Cut it out. Exactly. Cut it. Because that will make your girl really angry. <laughs> the next one. Bringing on board friends during a date. Hmm. That never happened to you. No, and it can never happen. No. And if it did happen, I actually don't remember. <laughs> but don't ever do it. Don't ever no, do it. No, boys sometimes they like... do. Do you know when, like, sorry for cutting you off, babe. It's alright. Do you know, like, guys sometimes, the same thing with girls. Do you know when you go to meet a guy for the first time, you kind of don't want to go alone? Mm -hmm. Sometimes boys actually do that. They act like, they act like bitches. Sorry for my language. They act like girls and they actually bring their friends so they feel a little bit more comfortable. This is on the first date basis. But that is completely ridiculous. From the time you're planning something out with me, yeah. you need to feel comfortable to go out with me mm -hmm. on your own. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can bring, like, an extra dick. <laughs> Oh, do you have an extra friend? So exactly. I can bring my friend. <laughs> they actually do. Like, 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 so so they need to come double day, double day. I'll bring no, you bring your friend, I'll bring my friend. I don't want to bring a friend. This is me and you. Do you understand? <laughs> oh my god. Next one. Moving on. Um, forgetting important dates they treasure. Hmm. For example, my birthday. Hmm. The video, the video that I just did with my boyfriend, the Q and A. How could you forget my birthday? You know how <laughs> the much I touched for March. Nine eight what? Nine 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 or two thousand ninety nine. Okay, he was right about the year. Then. He, he was right about the year, not, not the, the date. Of the I was month. born on the twentieth, not the thirtieth. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go and watch it. She will leave the link below. I mean, I just find that really rude as well. Make sure you don't forget important dates. Come on, you need to know your girlfriend's birthday. You, you know, know, me, I would let the the birthday goal, but the I wouldn't birthday. let the day that we start working. We started going day, out, yes. like that. Yeah, birthday's um, not even that. Yeah, day. our anniversary, that's Actually, something that is a must. Maybe I'm just being dramatic. Or if you guys are married or something, like your anniversary has to be a must. <laughs> month. If it doesn't know, then you ain't the one. <laughs> You ain't the one. You ain't the one. Like, the person I'll let go. I forget birthdays. So I'm just. Go get that's just me. That's just me. I forget birthdays, but he. he yeah, anniversaries yeah. now. So moving on. Okay. Turning off their shows in place of your favorite game program. So, you know what? That actually happens a lot with me. <laughs> that, this is in a current relationship. I'm not even talking about people that have dated or anything. But in my current relationship, sometimes I'm just watching, like, you see, when you came, mm -hmm. you, I was watching my own program. And he likes to go there, and he likes to pull his own, like, football, FIFA, or PES, or whatever that shit is. And he likes to... No, I just hate it. That is I so can't, annoying. I can't. When I actually live with my boyfriend, or like with my men in the future and stuff like that, mm. do not do that because I will break the TV. <laughs> and we will have nothing. <laughs> and we will have nothing at home. There's no way <laughs> you're doing that. Or oh, just like divide times, isn't it? Like, like at six o'clock I watch something. At seven o'clock you watch something else. Do you know what I mean? We need to be fair. It, it, especially if there's only one the TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There needs to be one. <laughs> Because I want to want something, you want to want something. Okay. That would be an argument. Makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. You're right. Moving on. Um, describing to her how celeb celebs are hot. You know what? If my man ever did that, I will show him the door. <laughs> Can you I'll describe show him the door? Can you describe how hot I am? Instead of celebrities. I'm a celebrity myself. I'm dating you. Exactly. Keep that for yourself. Talk about that with your friends when I'm not around and I can't hear it. There's no problems. But to me. Nigga, I'm jealous. 
<laughs> I'm gonna bring that shit to me. <laughs> Not to me, but no, to be fair though, mm -hmm. sometimes, I don't know, I like to look at like Kim K's, Nicki Minaj's, like, if my man fits into that, even though I started it, we ain't gonna last. Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> exactly. We ain't gonna last. Why you gonna vote? <laughs> <laughs> Do it away from me because mm. that's not gonna work. Um, making, what? Well, how do you mean that? Vague plans. Making vague plans. It's like they will, they will promise you to kind of like, oh, I'll take you out next time, and then they forget to take you out next time. And yeah, then, don't promise things that you can't do it. Just don't promise it. That's what the promise is literally do. something so deep. Like, if you're going to promise to me, oh, I'm going to take you out this day, obviously that's going to be in our minds because mm -hmm. us girls are sensitive. We, we, we like to be like, yeah. on our phones. We'll be like, oh, he said so. We're going to wear. What are we going to do? Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then after you're like, oh, I can't do it no more. Or just don't do that because that breaks my heart. That's ugly. That's ugly as fuck. I mentioned sure not ever do that. <laughs> that's ugly as fuck. I'm sorry. Um, taking time to reply or receive your text. No, receive calls or reply and whatever. No, guys, please, cause like this pisses me off so much. I am a fast replier, so I expect people to reply fast to me as well. Unless I know you're like at work or something mm -hmm. like that as well. Like, apart from that, please reply fast because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll feel like you're airing me, especially when you, you know, when they're like online. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can see the online. WhatsApp is a snitch. And Instagram, Instagram is a snitch. <laughs> Uh, Messenger is a snitch, Honestly. Facebook is a snitch, so Everywhere. you can't be taking your time to reply because we will know. We will, we will know. know. Exactly. Social media is on our side. Exactly. Like, I'm what telling are you. you doing? What are you actually doing that you can't reply fast to me? Mm. I'm fast and furious, like I'm flash. <laughs> like if you text me, Just, I gotta reply like just zero point five seconds. Your priority. Mm. I don't care. Mm. <laughs> if I'm not, then I know where I stand. <laughs> and I'll be, and the thing is, you know what? Like some girls, they are like they proper like oh, what you say? They pay. Me. So if the guy doesn't reply within 0.5 seconds, they will take 4 minutes to reply. And then if the guy replies after 4 minutes, then they will take 40 minutes to, to reply. reply. And then 40 minutes go to 40 hours. And 40 hours go to 40 days. 40 days go to 40 months. Next thing you know. We're not talking anymore. <laughs> Another one, comparing her to your exes. Oh my god. Don't ever do that. Don't you ever dare and compare me to your ex. I was never compared to any ex. Was you compared to any ex, Jesse? I don't think so. And because you if I was, so. no, I don't think so. Now, uh, maybe I'm not quite sure. What? Wait a second. Would you put comparing so like physical anything? Like, oh, she used to be this way and you're not. Yeah, she used to do this, but look at you. You don't do what she does. Okay. Like, I don't think. That. I don't think they ever directly said that. But then that's the that's most. If that's the way you feel about your ex, why are you not with her? Mm. Why mm. you coming here? Mm. Mm. That's the thing. <laughs> Of such thing, but if I was, yeah, we would not be together. We right would now. not get along. I'm very nice for me to stab you or something. Um, acting like an immature man, boy. Sometimes, yeah, no, but it depends. If you if you date guys that are like 20 and you are like 20 at the same time, you, you you have to expect them to act like man boys. Like that they they have like they have man attitude, mm -hmm. but they they boys. Like they have my attitude, but they're boys. Because they still live under their mama's house. I'm not disagreeing, and I'm not I'm not trying to ditch any man that lives under their mama's house. For me, I'm have to live with their mother until they're actually ready to get married and stuff like that. But I'm just saying is, you can't be acting like a man, but still have boys' still tendencies. Boy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You trying to act like a man, I got big balls and shit, but then you act like a little... No, it don't make no sense. So, some men are just like that, and it's very mature. Because you do realize that we women, we grew... We grow up faster than them boys. Yeah, so like, and even if we shy argue against that, I will never have it because that's just reality that is hard to accept. <laughs> like when we twenty, like you guys are right here, and we are right we're, there. We're the <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, furthermore, what? chewing gums. No, that's guys, you. That's you now. I can't. That's I can't you. deal with people that chew gum. Do that's you. you. That's you. <laughs> I will chew. In fact, she actually tried to come to, the, to record this video chewing gum. <laughs> I was going to, but I respect. I said no to the no no. <laughs> There's no way because I actually hate you. know what, what I hate about this is the fact that people chew so loud sometimes. People chew so loud like that. You don't need to do that. At least if you want to do it. That's discrimination. Honestly, if at least if you want to do it, it's fine. You can do it. But just don't chew like that. Learn how to chew. It's not that difficult. I don't think there's school for that. I don't think they give lessons for that. You chew how your mouth taught you how to. So if you chew like this, 
they be yourself in two like that. She gotta move. She gotta move. She likes to move. But yeah, like, sometimes it can be very annoying for people that, like, I don't like men that eat loudly, but like, I don't mind the chewing. Mm -hmm. But I don't like when they eat loudly, like, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. Another thing as well, oh my god, is like, when, oh, I just forgot what I was gonna say. When what? <laughs> when I hear people breathe. Oh my god. No, you know what? Like, I can't. I can't. I think that's a disorder that I have. Because it's the, the I can't. I cannot. Like I will put up with your snore, with your snoring. I will with put the, up with that. With I, will used, I will get used to that. If you snore and the, let's say you're my boyfriend and yeah. you snore, mm -hmm. I'll put up with that. But if you breathe, like, like let's say that like, we're sitting down at a table yeah. here and you're breathing loud, like what, what's the point? We're watching a movie and you're breathing loud in the cinema. I can't, I can't deal. Be the I can't. It makes me want to beat them up so much. <laughs> she bad. I, you know, I, you, you bad. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that, that is actually weird. Like, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's just the thing. Okay, let's touch on the subject. I'm actually, I know what you're just saying about men in general. Mm -hmm. But does he annoy you when your man farts? No. Because I fart a lot next to my man. Like, honestly, I'm not going to lie but at the beginning of this, like at the beginning of my life, every time I used to fart, mm -hmm. because I'm just someone that gets really comfortable around boys anyway. So like at the beginning of the relationship, I used to literally fart in it. And then used to be like used to have mad reactions because I farted. I don't know if he expects me to be the queen, but even the queen farts though. He used to be like, oh why are you farting? I hate when you do that. And then he used to like, you know like <laughs> what's it called? You spray like, like you know the spray for the house. See? He used to literally come and spray my bum and stuff like that and be like spray the whole bed. Make a big deal out of it just because I farted. But nowadays he farts well, himself. Like it depends on the degree of the smell. I'm not mm. trying to say that your farts should smell like roses. No. But, I but is you. he not bad? No. Be honest with yourself now. He was, is he not bad? It was just dramatic. He never used to like me farting. But listen again, like, you know what? Fart. I, gotta be, I gotta be a little bit on this side. Because <laughs> I fart, my mouth fart, it smells like roses. My <laughs> own <laughs> my one, my fart is like the most nicest fart you ever smell. You even make you cry because yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, but some people, my boyfriend, I probably I'm gonna put you in that category as well because if he has to go as far as getting the spray to spray your ass, that's yeah, because it smells to bad. Spray the whole thing. There's like, never to fart on purpose because he doesn't want to. He doesn't even want the smell to get to his nose. Come on. No. You know there's never to the fart. There's mouth fart. <laughs> And there's a strong, if you want this atomic bomb, <laughs> if you want this atomic bomb and it smells very bad, that one is, you have to be detained. You have, to, you have to go to jail. You can't know. I wouldn't but do yeah, it. He used I wouldn't. to take that, but now, but now we're at a point where he farts around me as well. And I'm like, oh, okay, remember when he used to say, oh, why are you farting? But now you're doing it yourself. I don't you're know. a hypocrite. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like, I don't know. You know what? It may be like, um, unfair, but I don't like when men fart. I want to fart, Why? but I don't like women fart. Okay, so you're, so you're with your man, let's say, you're with your man, and you're planning to have a future with him. Yeah. You'd never want to see him fart in your life. He farts all the time, and I get very annoyed. Like, he, he, <laughs> I get very annoyed, I get very angry. You shouldn't get used He's to it. He's not being biased or anything. I just, I think <laughs> anyone should give me the right, should have the right to fart, but men shouldn't. Y'all should be forbidden. <laughs> Y'all should go to jail if you do that. That's me being a fart. is the best, it means you're just healthy. <laughs> It just means you're healthy. Hi. For me, it just means you're healthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, moving on. What else? Okay. Do you like? Do you think? Is it right for you to have your man? Oh no, I think I think we're going off topic right here. But let me still ask. Mm -hmm. Does he get you annoyed the fact that you can't get into your man's phone, or do you feel like that's? I will definitely get into that phone somehow. Trust me. Mhm. Mm it has to happen. It just has to happen, just. No, no, wait a second. So, imagine if you change the password, would that know you? Imagine you know the password, give me a password. We're breaking up because what, what, what's there to hide? That's my question. What is there to hide? Someone actually tell me what is there to hide? No, sometimes you know me, but I like I don't change my password at all. Mm -hmm. So he but, knows your password. Yes. In case. Yes, but he, he has an iPhone X, and you guys know how the iPhone X is fat. <laughs> yeah, he has the facial thing. I don't look nothing like him. So it's hard for me to get through his phone. But it don't bother me. But it gets me a little bit annoyed. Cause so what with iPhone X's? I don't know how that works. Sorry. Guys. You can still put the password, but you the first thing that we'll ask you is either the the facial recognition. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, that you messed up. And then if you do three times, then you, then you have to put the password. Then I will do three times and then put the password because I have to get into that phone somehow. And I've got to read every single text. <laughs> Literally, I need to see who you text, who you be texting, who you be mm. calling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you have to know your man's uh, thing, but you shouldn't be going through your man's phone. That's true. You, you should, should know the really password, but you phone. shouldn't go through it. But that can be another topic for another day. <laughs> things true. that ladies should keep their hands off. Because some ladies, they don't know the measurements, the of level course. that you gotta go you to. You find things you don't mm. want to see. Then you cry and you, you hurt yourself. And your, your heart that was like this is now broken. <laughs> <laughs> pieces, complete pieces. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I hate a little bit when the men, when the when the boys are with the boys, they just act they act up. a little bit like they don't care. Why do you act up when you're in front of your boys? Act normal, give like, me love, like macho man. Literally, I feel like doing the most. Literally, that's true. I'm sorry. Oh my god, the fools <laughs> can't do. I thought the ladies do that in the movie. I thought it was us. I can't. Okay, let's get deep. Let's get deep. Okay, let's get deep. So. I think one another annoying thing is falling asleep after sex. Does that annoy you? Yeah, it annoys me because I still want to cuddle for a bit. Yes. I want you to talk. I want you to talk. To talk to me about on my ears. Do you get what I mean? Tell me how much you love me. How, mm -hmm. how good he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. <laughs> let's go. Let's talk business now. That we done the deal. Let's talk business. Real. But like, when did we go asleep. wrong? Do you get what I mean? And man as just, well. Just fall asleep mm -hmm. straight away and don't even say anything. I thought, yeah, yeah, the good thing can be like you probably was too good that you knock him out. Let's be like that. Let's be like that. You was too good. So if a man sleeps on you, that is you. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. You are good. You are good. Get your do whatever you're doing. You are good. If he sleeps after, mm -mm, then you're good. I approve that message. I approve this message. But if you fall asleep all the time, I know I'm good. I know I'm capable of. Knockout. You can't wake up from a knockout. You can't know. You can't wake up from a knockout. People are not as new as that. Yeah. Okay. Another thing. Uh, man, y'all don't listen. Oh my god. What? That's my boyfriend. <laughs> I tell him so many simple things, but he does not listen. It's almost like he listen. comes from this ear, he ends on this ear, and he goes somewhere he don't else. Even, he don't even enter. It just hits. He blocks. <laughs> And it drops back down because it's like it's ridiculous. The way you guys don't listen is just ridiculous. Get out of this world. Guys need to start listening a bit more because you can't do everything the way you think you can. It's true. It's mad annoying. <coughs> yeah, leaving the oh oh leaving the toilet seat up. Yes. If you live with your man, like I can relate to this because I live with, I live with my man. <laughs> no, my it one is the lights up. The lights. Why is the lights? My on? one is the seat. My one is a secret, you know, like, I, 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 I read that because that means they, they know exactly, like, they were raised right. Because if a man, like, always puts the toilet seat up and he wheezes and then puts it down, well, like, sometimes he doesn't put it down. But if he lifts it up, that means that he's conscious of not being in the same, the same place Yeah, the exactly. Girl. Yeah, and for me, that means Which the boy was nice. raised right. However, he should be taught how to put it down, too. Because the way you found it, you should put it, the thing is, men as well in general, they don't like to put things, like, if they see something here, they'll put it there. They won't put it back. Yeah, but that will show you that he actually put it up for you. I know. <laughs> you have to put it down for me. <laughs> or at least for me to know that he went to the toilet. I don't know. <laughs> True. Okay. Having me. friends you don't like. Oh yeah, you know what? Sometimes men, I mean, some yeah, men in general, yeah. Sometimes you got we girls, we can sense the vibes that your friends be giving us. Exactly. So and there's nothing we can do sometimes as well because when I met you, you already had your friends. Yeah. So you can't really. But in a way, I'll still tell you, I'm a real bitch. I'll tell you, I don't like this guy. I don't like this girl. I don't like this guy, and I always do it. Do you do it? I do it all the time. I have to. I can't be fake. I but as soon as I, like I, I won't try to say to you, to, I won't give you like an ultimatum, like, oh, you choose him or me. Oh, no. Or no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, but I will let you know that, you know what, that friend is no good. I can't I don't like it. Exactly. I don't want to. Like, I can get exactly. a nice little pull it to his throat. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can't fuck with your friend. <laughs> no, I don't fuck with him. He can fuck himself. I'm sorry. <laughs> when we're trying to like. No, okay, so I said to my man, I can't go out with him because I'm going out with my friends. Mm -hmm. But then when he wants to go out with his friends, I'm clingy because I'm telling him that I want to hang out with him. The same thing that he supposedly did before, <laughs> but I'm considered as clingy because so I decided to be clingy. 
you hang out with me and how I hang out with V. It's that's simple it. as that. We just gotta argue. Problem. That's it. End of chapter. <laughs> Get in my room to take their clothes. Ew, I like it. What do you mean? I like it as well. I like it too. I look cute. I like that. <laughs> you know, eh? <laughs> you know, it's kind of cute. My boyfriend always tells me off. It's like, oh, you're getting too used to like using my clothes and stuff I like, like it. that. But I'm like, mm. is your clothes limited edition? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Our diets. May oh my god, this one make us come to family events and then leave us standing by ourselves. Do not do that. My boyfriend did that just to a wedding we came from in Portugal. <laughs> we did him now. He will go you out and like, the tea. <laughs> the tea. He'll be like, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. And I'm thinking, okay, but we came to the wedding together. Do you know what I mean? I was one of the bridesmaids and he was one of the groomsmen. Right? Which family was that? You also there. His family. And right? you know the bridesmaids? I wasn't, yeah, she brought me to your mother, do you know what I <laughs> So, when they are doing it now, like, we're mm -hmm. actually in the hall, mm -hmm. in the party. Mm -hmm. Cut my car, everything. Hey, that was silly. <laughs> yeah, we was there now, eating everything. So mm -hmm. now, he would, like, get up constantly to go outside and get air. And I'm thinking, tell me where you're going. I was myself. calling him every time, so I'm him 24-7. Why those people? Why are you leaving me here? For real. I can be kidnapped. <laughs> exactly. Like, no, I don't I but yeah, like I know it's your family. I'm comfortable with your family, but don't leave me hanging. Yeah, don't leave me hanging like a like a sack of potatoes. Do you like have anything that you want to tell them about? No, there's a lot of things. I made it a long list, but I don't want to make it all in one week. You can make part two yeah, if you like, like the shit. Week. Exactly. Okay. Make sure you like, comment, and share, subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, and I'll add her channel link as well, just down below. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video we've got to give you guys. And Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you. 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 See